I mean, terroir, it comes, it's a French word, so it comes from terre. How the soil permeates through everything, but through the food. And so it's really the taste of a certain kind of landscape. But I think it was good, it was impression of Nagano, and really sort of the power of the mountain. Because the forest and the river and the water, the hot water. It was very uh, generous and the sort of uh, roughness. And also now it's kind of an interesting time to be because it's just before the snow. So people are making pickles, they're kind of ready for a big transformation of their life. It was really interesting to see. Um, Nagano is really interesting because you can get all four seasons, like full four seasons. The fact that they're trying to preserve product for the winter time. When I think gastronomy, it's not just what you can see in front of you, but the experience of everybody's passion or vision of food. I think there's huge potential. That method of fermentation is just so, it's so simple. It's kind of amazing that that can happen just completely natural. No other spices, or, and the, the product is awesome. I like it. Um, Japanese people already have this amazing appreciation. And one of the things that I thought was so cool and kind of bizarre, but um, neat, the way they talk about their hometown or their home area, it's almost, they, they speak of these products or these traditional things as if they are a member of the family. That had never happened to me before. To me, Satoyama is kind of uh, the way I understand is how the people and the landscape and the animals and the plants, they live together so they can live in harmony. So I think that's a big part of living in Nagano. Sure, yeah.